Hello players, let's predict the future of home networking. Does it look like this? Or like this? As technology advances, so does the way we connect to the internet and other devices. One technology that's been gaining popularity in recent years is SFP+. While SFP is never going to replace Ethernet, it can happily live alongside it in your home network in the near future. Now, Ethernet, of course, is a wired technology that has been around since the early 1970s. Ethernet is simple to install, reliable, and secure for the most part. Ethernet cables are easy to find, and almost anyone, or at least anyone watching me, has some experience with Ethernet. I mean, it's used in almost everything from laptops, printers, game consoles, smart home devices. Ethernet is also well supported by most operating systems, making it the easiest to set up and configure. I mean, you just plug and play with an Ethernet cable and it works. But now let's move on to SFP+. Plus, SFP Plus is a newer technology that is becoming more common in home networking. SFP Plus stands for Small Form Factor Pluggable and is a standardized interface for high-speed networking. SFP Plus is capable of supporting data transfer speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second, the same as Ethernet currently, but there are other SFP standards that can achieve much higher speeds. I have a full video about that linked in the description, but SFP Plus is also more flexible than Ethernet as it can use either fiber optic or Ethernet cables to connect between these two ends called transceivers, more on that in the other video, and it can use up to CAT6A cables. But why do these higher speeds even matter if your ISP might not even be able to provide you with gigabit yet? Well, it's true that your internet speed of your, of your home network is ultimately limited by what your ISP can provide. However, there are several reasons why having high speed home networking can still be beneficial even if your ISP speed is lower. Firstly, high-speed home networking allows for faster communication between devices on your network. This means that devices can transfer between each other more quickly, which can improve performance for applications like video editing on network devices, local file sharing, or multiple security cameras. Secondly, having a high-speed home network can provide a more constant and stable network performance. Even if your internet connection is slower, this is because the high-speed home network is less likely to experience bottlenecks or congestion when multiple devices are accessing the network simultaneously. This can lead to fewer dropout connections, reduced lag, and overall just generally better performance. In addition to Ethernet and SFP+, there is also fiber optic. And Let's talk about it. Fiber optic is a technology that uses light to transmit data over, typically over long distances, but it does have applications for shorter distances as well. Fiber optic is much faster than ethernet and is also more secure. Fiber optic cables are also immune to electromagnetic interference, which can cause problems with some ethernet cables. However, fiber optic is a lot more expensive than ethernet and it is also more difficult to install. Fiber optic cables also have a bend radius, which means that they can only be bent so far before they break. This can be an issue with home networking where, you know, the cable runs might need to go through tight spaces. Because fiber optic can be tricky to install, it may not see much use in the home network outside of the enthusiast or professional use cases. But SFP Plus, on the other hand, might be becoming more common in home networking. There's no secret that more and more devices are requiring higher and higher data transfer speeds. And while Ethernet can keep up, SPF Plus is a great solution because it's fast and flexible. And it can, as we said earlier, can use either fiber optic or ethernet, but it can just simply be terminated to ethernet, making it easy to use with almost any device. Of course, one of the biggest considerations for home networking is cost. Ethernet cables are much cheaper than fiber optic cables, but SFP Plus sits somewhere in between. However, the cost of SFP Plus is rapidly decreasing, making it more accessible for the average consumer. 10 gigabit ethernet switches and routers are still relatively expensive and have a limited amount of ports, whereas SFP Plus isn't exactly cheap either, but it is a lot more versatile and is definitely worth considering for your home networking needs. Should you run out and buy SFP Plus equipment to future-proof your entire setup, 
No, future-proofing is, is a myth, and the best you can do is buy what you have a need for. For example, if you have a high-speed NAS, an SFP Plus connection from the NAS to a switch, and then having that switch be able to communicate with a bunch of other devices at full gigabit is valid, because if that connection from the NAS to the switch is gigabit, then everything talking to that NAS would have to share that one gigabit line. But if SFP Plus or 10 gigabit ethernet was going from the NAS to the switch, then they could all share that 10 gigabit connection at one gigabit each. Now I see the future of home networking utilizing both SFP Plus and Ethernet. Perhaps SFP Plus connection from one switch to another switch, and perhaps from one side of your house to an outbuilding or something like that, and then Ethernet to devices that are closer to the switch. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, keep playing and be excellent to each other.